Italian and Japanese-funded projects have helped stabilize the southern of two ancient canals built to channel water away from the central structures. However, the equally important northern canal has collapsed completely, resulting in a slow but steady destruction of the northern side of the site. To see it, compare the relatively intact terrace steps and pavilions on the south of the site with those on the north. Years of work by the Italian archaeological mission and the inimitable Dr. Patrizia Zolis, the leading expert on Watfu who has been working at the site since 1990, have resulted in the first detailed map of the site and the surrounding 400 square kilometers, revealing much about the way the ancients lived. A golf cart shuttles guests from the ticket office area to the Beret Pond. After that, you must walk. Wadfu is situated at the junction of the Mekong Plain and Fu Fasak, a mountain that was sacred to the Austro-Asiatic tribes living in this area centuries before the construction of any of the ruins now visible. Oh, I can hear some thunder. Uh, the drizzle appears to have let up again for a moment here. South of Wat Fu are three smaller Angkor era sites in poor condition that will mainly interest die-hard Khmer architecture fans. Okay, and now uh, continuing the description of the main site here, Wat Fu Champa Sok World Heritage Site. The archaeological site itself is divided into six terraces on three main levels, joined by a long stepped promenade flanked by statues of lions and naga. The lower level. A modern sala built by Chao Boon Um in the 1960s stood at the western side of the Great Beret ceremonial pond. Nuang Sa in Lao, until it was recently dismantled, revealing the sandstone base of the ancient main entrance. From here begins a causeway-style ceremonial pro promenade flanked by two beret. Parts of both the northern and southern beret still fill with water, lotus flowers, and the odd buffalo during the wet season, and the site is in better shape since the stone lotus buds lining the promenade have been re-erected. So that lower level, I believe, is where I had the uh, shuttle ride. Uh, now the middle level, the middle section features two exquisitely carved quadrangular pavilions built of sandstone and laterite. Believed to date from the mid 10th or early 11th century, the style resembles Ko Kur in Cambodia. So I believe these are the two quadrangular pavilions here. Wat Phu was converted into a Buddhist site in later centuries, but much of the original Hindu sculpture remains in the lintels, which feature various forms of Vishnu and Shiva. Over the eastern pediment of the north pavilion is a relief of Shiva and Parvati sitting on Nandi, Shiva's bull mount. The building consists of four galleries and a central open courtyard although entry is forbidden for safety reasons. Well, I do see an area over here that is marked no entry. Let me try and get a sense of the geography here. Uh, so this is, I am in the southern pavilion, it looks like, uh, based on my GPS map here. And then across the way, um, that would be the northern pavilion. 
here's the no entry area. Okay, so the area that I was just reading about that is forbidden for safety reasons is the eastern pediment of the north pavilion. So that is uh, uh, the other pavilion here uh, across the way. So I'm in the southern pavilion. like about all that can be uh, seen here. I'm just trying to get my bearings. Uh, this is the northern pavilion. North is this way. So the site is laid out where you're walking east uh, uh, toward the mountain. Which makes sense because I remember from uh, Wait, wait a minute. No, I'm confusing myself here. I thought the mountains were located uh, to the west of the Mekong River. So I need to get my orientation here because I'm confused. All right, let's try our geography one more time here. I am facing north. This is the northern pavilion of the middle level. This is to the east where the entrance is, where I came um, on the uh, shuttle. 3.7 miles east of where I'm standing is the Mekong River. This is the south and the southern pavilion. As I noted when I came in earlier, the sign marking the French Cooperation Project for restoration of the entrance of the southern quadrangle. And as I had thought, uh, indeed, the mountain lies to the west. So now I've got my orientation. Uh, this whole complex is laid out uh, on an east-west axis, the mountain being the west and 3.7 miles to the east being the Mekong River, the entrance to the uh, complex uh, being about uh, half a mile down the way. So they built this whole complex 3.2 miles inland from the Mekong River. And now at 12.51 uh, p.m., uh, it's very nice weather. It is overcast, uh, uh, totally cloudy, but uh, no rain right now, and some very beautiful uh, clouds uh, tickling the uh, mountain here to the west. All right, now that I've got the proper orientation, I can uh, proceed to... Uh, uh, visit uh, around the southern uh, pavilion here and then I will visit the northern pavilion and continue uh, onward from there.